Hello, Mike. Speaking. Just buzz apartment number eight, and I can buzz you in. I'm stoked. I appreciate that Mike's really willing to support women in art. Um, there are so many fantastic female artists in the street art scene, and so I appreciate that Mike was able to put this together. Hi. I feel like I'm talking to a rabbit. The piece on top is a self-portrait, really, and it talks about uh, and a very long ex uh, experience that I had that dealt with some type of pain that I had in my throat, and I really couldn't explain it. Eventually, it took me some time to decipher what it really was. After talking about it and writing it out in my personal journals, eventually that became like a, through meditation, that's known as the, um, the throat chakra, which is the color blue. And once I started talking about all the specific things that happened to me in my past, uh, things cleared out. Completely. It's an awesome collection overall. There's got to be, what, a dozen artists today? It's a really nice collection. Well done. You know I have to interview. You have to. Yeah. What am I going to say this time? Tell me, what is it like to be in this art show of all women? It's, it's an honor. Um, I think it's an amazing group of human beings. It's an honor to be asked to be part of it. Um, and I think more shows like this need to happen. are also being sold, which is really cool. And it's awesome that Mike gives artists an opportunity to come here and do that. And they keep all of the proceeds, which is also really awesome. What? I don't know why I'm being interviewed. Tonight was really an amazing night. We had 200 plus people in attendance. A few thousand dollars worth of art was sold. I gotta say, I'm just absolutely floored by the response. Thank you everybody that came. Thank you to the artists for being a part of it. Peace.